Joining me is Margie Phelps from the Westboro Baptist Church. Immediately after the shooting at Sandy Hook School, the Westboro Baptist Church announced that it would be picketing the uh, vigil as well as, I believe, some of the funerals. Margie, let's cut right to the chase. What's the reason? Do you still plan to picket funerals, and what's the reason for that? Every time God reaches down into this nation and smacks you hard and gets your attention, we're going to come forth with work. Because that's our job. That's our mission. So one of the ways he's doing that, increasingly, is by these shooters. And they're getting younger and their numbers are getting bigger. We've told you for over 20 years that if you keep up this path of proud sin, you're going to bring mayhem to the land. And now you've waxed worse and now you're in a fevered chase for same-sex marriage. Connecticut was one of the first states to come out with same-sex marriage. You guys think you can brute force away the standard of God. It's not going to happen. You heard it here first. Okay, but Margie, what's the plan with soon. what's the plan with the funeral specifically? Not soon, Connecticut is going to look like a tea party. Many more shooters, many more dead are coming, and the plan with Connecticut. Are you kidding me? There's already been thousands of our words put out in the airwaves. We'll continue on the course we're on. That's the plan. Okay, but are you, are you going to pick at the funerals of the kids? Wherever we can put these signs up, including those funerals, is what we'll do. Okay, and specifically, I mean, I understand that you believe broadly that anything bad that happens in this country is God's punishment for what you consider to be the acceptance of homosexuality. But I mean, these kids, and we have a lot of their pictures here, I mean, what, what did little Jack Pinto do to deserve... You, Jonathan Phelps there with a God sent the shooter sign, right? Or I mean, any, any of these, right? Uh, you know, Olivia Engel, what did she do? What's the point of being there? Truth is, and name them all, those children are better off dead than in this nation. This hour. Every child of that age in this nation outside of Westboro Baptist Church is without hope. They are on their mother's milk, taught to be proud sinners and rebels against the God of glory. There's no hope for those children. No, that's worse, nonsense. Worse, worse, they died. Look at your hands, David Packman. Their blood is on your hands. And all the rest of the media, and all the rest of the preachers, okay. and all the rest of the leaders, their blood is on your hands. If you ever cracked a Bible, you would be familiar with the fact that when you enrage the King of Glory, the Lord God Jehovah, he comes on the scene with destruction and he's no respecter of age. He kills infants in his wrath. Furthermore, no one is born innocent. So get off all that nonsense. It's maudlin. It's unscriptural. Yeah, it's, un it's unhelpful at this hour. If you don't want more of those dead children, stop what you're doing. Margie, you um, there's been a... If you gave a wrath backside, you or anyone else in this nation, if you really cared, Barack Obama... We're going to have to agree to disagree on this. Born for your sins, yeah. you would change course before you have thousands of dead laying at your feet. Margie, I, I want let, to... Let's... Unless if you agree to disagree. No, I know, I, I, know the, I know the Bible stuff, but let's just oh, try to keep it concise a little because there are more things. Incredibly, there is act we actually have a lot of things to talk about with you. I know that'll come as a shock to a lot of people. Uh, there have been about 200 articles... But just to be clear, the only thing you and I are talking about today is Connecticut and same-sex marriage. Don't waste my time. You don't have a big enough audience for me to waste my time with anything else. So right. don't go off any rabbit trails. No, no. I, I'm, I'm going to stick to... Th I, thank you for keeping me focused, Margie, because I want to stick to another issue, which is several hundred articles are now out about anonymous... Excuse me, Margie. Let me see if we can get a question in here, if I may start talking about anonymous, the irrelevant criminal cowards whose names God knows and who will let the criminal authorities deal with, then then that's when I use my Skype hangout telephone. So stick to the issue of today. The issue of today is Connecticut, dead children for same-sex marriage, and we'll continue to chat. But have Anon you been attacked by anonymous? And they're lurking in the background all the time. Anonymous is irrelevant. They're, they're so yesterday. Okay. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, the real issue is if you could shut us up, 
if you could shut us up, the Lord God will find someone else to say these words. In fact, Christ said he'll find some stones. I know he did. So look for the stones to start talking. Margie, because, I want to. OK. Because God sent the shoot and he's not done. Give me an opportunity, Margie, to talk to you uh, one on one here. Let's let, I, 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 I against my better judgment, maybe. Um, I want to maybe try to work out some. David, you need us way worse than we need you. So stop all that nonsense. Anonymous is irrelevant and off the Let's table. Let's forget about anonymous for a second, sure, uh, uh, Margie. I'm sorry. Let's just let, let let me just. Can I make a proposal to you? Will you listen to a proposal from me? Is that and then you can reject it or accept it. It's your choice. Depends on what it is. Okay. My goal is to keep you and your signs away from the funerals of these kids in Connecticut. And as you said, your goal is for as many people as possible to hear your message, which you have made a number of times on this show. So, and I may regret this, and I think my audience may not like this, but what I want to propose to you is, would you be willing to say you will stay away from the funerals of the children, and in exchange, I would provide you a 30-minute uninterrupted. It won't be me interrupting you and saying, oh, but what about this and that? We will give you 30 minutes really to put together. It can be a video that you put together or whatever you want. We'll put it on our YouTube channel, which has 25 million views. We're on 160 TV and radio stations across the country. We're on DirecTV and Dish Network in 32 million homes. I know that my audience will not like this, but I feel like I may be doing something good. I would be willing to compromise and offer you that opportunity. If you agree, simply Stay away from the funerals of these few kids, and, and you'll reach way more people this way, which I don't like, I really don't, but I just want to see if we can maybe broker some kind of agreement. I'll float the proposal. Okay, so we were hoping to hear back about whether or not our proposal was accepted. There were a number of, of phone calls and trying to connect with them interchange. We spoke to their pr public relations person. As of now, we have not gotten an answer. They're considering our proposal. I'm very hopeful that we've negotiated something here to keep them away from those funerals of those kids in Connecticut. As soon as we know more, obviously, we'll present it to you. Uh, and and uh, I hope that they, will, that they will do it. I think we'll have done something very good if we can just keep them away from those funerals.